Aloha, my tribe. It is Pink Bella. Welcome back to my channel. And this is going to be a different type of transmission. I haven't done this for a while, but I want to welcome you all. Um, if you're called to listen to messages from the Council of Venus and the Divine Goddess Energy, I'm going to also call in Goddess Sophia, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Kuan Yin, Goddess Sekhmet, and any, and the Lyran Council of Light. And I want to call in any other um messages from the divine goddess frequency and collective yeah so for those of you who are new to my channel thank you so so much and my usual high vibe tribe so grateful for all of you thank you for liking subscribing and sharing out this message it's very very important message for us at this time so um I've been working with the Divine Goddess for many years. However, this channel has, that's not been its focus. However, we just went through a very deep, profound Venus retrograde that started in July, right around the time that all of our star seed activations were happening and all the way through August in the Lionsgate and uh, Venus has just gone direct. So on the weekend, I started to work with the Venetian Council and um the goddesses, the divine feminine energy, the the divine feminine aspect of prime source creator, goddess Sophia. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to share with you around her. And I worked with them all weekend. And there's gonna be another, I'm gonna be upload another message for all of us for this coming week as well. But this was a specific message as Venus decided to go direct the week before the September 9th the nine nine gateway. Okay. So first and foremost, um, the divine feminine light code activations have increased and, uh, we have, we have, or we have gained the last six to eight weeks clarity around self-love, self-worth balance and harmony and what, and it's been very difficult for many of us to watch what's going on in the collective and be part of that, okay? Um, we have been anchoring in the divine feminine goddess codes from the beginning. However, for our alignment and for our um, protection to be kind of under the radar, we haven't always labeled it as that. So I was always guided to just talk about the light codes in general and to talk about um, the star seed activations because of course we are star seeds and the, the divine goddess energy is um, star seeds as well so what's happened now is that energy is going to start coming more frequent i'll have more updates around this um, many years ago i did offer a pink rose akashic ray session and that's been upgraded and expanded and modified for this download so i'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit as well okay so the pink rose rays are very much um this very beautiful unconditional love and support to help us feel self-worth self-love worthiness um empowerment and to help to heal all those traumas and those wounds from this life and from all the other lifetimes where we've never been validated and or our energy basically was getting kicked off the planet. Okay. So we have a lot, many traumas that we're, we're working through. That super full moon that came in on Friday gave the other players an opportunity to come in and try to take as many divine feminine and divine masculines off their soul missions as well so um i'm going to do this here as well but i'm going to do it in the next transition i'm just going to send and ask for the divine goddess energy and all the angels and archangels to come in and be with everybody and clear and heal any stress any um unworthiness anything that's blocking you from self-love and self-worth and that's also connected with abundance and our lower chakras as well and your divine gifts, your divine mission. All right. So many of the delays have been around and, or there have been delays. Many of the delays have been around, not just you and your frequency or me and my frequency, but waiting for a time when there'd be less focus on our gifts and our missions while other things are unfolding. So that time is now. Okay. Um, however, 
they, so many of us like myself are on the front lines, helping friends and family, doing things in all different timelines. So what we have been shown the last few days, what I've been shown is that the divine feminine energy can come in and balance us and kind of run in the background with this other warrior soul mission energy that we're balancing that out. So, um, so I put myself and I was guided to do lots of clearing, aligning with these beautiful rays, amplifying them up and working with the goddesses. So on the weekend, I worked all, all weekend healing, clearing with the uh, Venetian Galactic Council, with Goddess Sophia, and I unified that with Prime Source Crater, with um, uh, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Mary Magdalene, Goddess Sekhmet, all many other goddesses, uh, the female angelic um, essences. Angels don't really have that energy, but some do. Um, that I've always felt. So Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Ariel, uh, Uriel for me, for some Uriel is uh, more of a masculine energy. And Goddess Sekhmet, um, who's very closely connected to the Lyran councils and the Lyran aspects. But also various crystals came in, different frequencies, different dragons. So I'm going to show some cards and talk about that. And I'll show you some crystals as well. So I what was brought to me was our chakras are actually getting activated, meridians upgraded to hold and embody more of the, this new divine feminine um, energy. And Gaia is going through the same. And we need various things. We're, we'll be guided to do some, some various things around that to be more open and be more receptive. So I went through quite a transformation while there was... Um, complete focus on me to do that so I've also had to upgrade my security process as well so and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the uh, the energy update for this week so what I'm going to share is uh, I'm going to share some messages that they just got me to show I posted some of them and I'm just going to ask that they bring in um, the energy so let me just see if I can hold that. So this is the Venetian Galactic Council and the message is a star being guides answering the call time to shine. So it is the time to shine um, and the Venetian Council can start to work with many of us to align with and bring in these very, very powerful uh, Venetian and um, divine feminine goddess codes to start to bring in that aspect for our divine missions, our divine purpose, okay? They also asked me to um, let you all know that Gaia, this Gaia is going through her own activation around this as well. Um, she's receiving wisdom transmission. Again, we're being guided to be out in the earth to receive um, the divine downloads as well, okay? Then, And we can call in the goddesses and um, the Venetian Council to assist us at this time, Temple of Truth. So on the others, so in other lifetimes and all these other lifetimes, when we basically got ejected off the planet, we were not allowed to speak or share our truth or our, our healing or our wisdom. And we're regaining that. And Divine Masculines, if you're watching this, you're also receiving that energy because you're here to help support and protect that energy as well we're going to move back into that that balance so we're, we're all going to be these divine feminine divine masculine balanced spiritual warriors that but also have our hearts and compassion um, for all beings so throat chakra authenticity self-expression we're getting to that point where we're going to be called upon um, for assistance but right now there's great focus still to prevent this just to let you all know that's why there's been some delays with some of your soul missions as well this came in the live reading the Merkaba activation so um, I've been elevating upgrading healing my Merkaba stargate system and it's getting another round of activations and upgrades because of these new light codes that have, that have really powerfully came in on the weekend. It says Merkaba activation, transcendence, ascension, you are rising up. So that's a message for all of us as divine feminines. And then they wanted me to show you some dragons, okay? So um, the first, oh, okay. Before I show you these, I'm going to um, just let you all know 
Um, anything new that's on my website, I'm just moving up to the top because of this process of me rebuilding a new website as well. So for those of you who've been booking the quantum alignment session or bundle, there's now a new option to book a quantum alignment session that focuses on the divine feminine goddess healing and activation for the gateways as well. So um, that would, I, I, everything's listed about what it does. And then that would be just a request once you book it. Okay. So that this is the quantum alignment session and bundles are perfect for any of the gateways. So I will be offering that consistently through all the powerful gateways uh, until the end of the year. An example this month, we have the nine, nine portal. We have the new moon in Virgo. We have the um, e powerful equinox in the middle of around the 21st of, um, of September. Okay. So um an average quantum alignment healing session would bring in all bunch of pieces around your soul mission, around ascension, um, abundance, highest timelines, manifesting your dream life, cutting cords, clearing personal traumas. Okay. It's kind of a mixed bag. So the, the um, pink rose ray goddess quantum alignment bundle and session option um, will include the pink rose rays of healing, unconditional love for self-worth and self love and clearing and healing of traumas, relationship, loss, grief, sadness, loneliness, etc. cetera. Um, goddess assistance will be goddess Sophia, mother, Mary, Mary Magdalene, Kuan Yin, goddess Sekhmet and anyone else that your higher self and team want me to bring in pink dragons and unicorns. And I'll go over the dragons, lilac, fire, dragon, uh, transmutation, pink rose rays are included with gold and silver. You're also going to get a profound, um, seal of protection through this as well. Okay. Um, some of the dragons that have come in are the ro the rose pink dragon, and I'll just read that, uh, prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart. We have Kuan Yin's pink dragon, and this brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. They also guided me, this is not on there, but I will update it to bring in the lilac fire dragon. So this is a transmutation to the power of divine love. It's more of a divine feminine transmutation as opposed to the the golden violet flame dragon and then archangel michael still wants to come in with the deep uh, blue dragon for clearing pathways and um sort of that rebalance of divine protection with the blue with the blue ray and frequency okay and now i'm going to go to the crystals so some of the crystal frequencies and flames that i'll be working with as uh, rose quartz we also have morganite uh pink tourmaline i don't have a piece of that on me right now lepidolite and apache tear i usually work with these two together some of you have had those those together with um with your sessions black tourmaline which is over there um and shungite and like selenite i don't have um shungite but i'll just show i do actually hold on there we go yeah, there's a piece of black shungite yeah. Um, I also personally work with like black tourmaline as well. Your higher self might ask for something completely different. And then selenite. There we go. Selenite. So I'll be bringing in those frequencies uh, through this session. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a show and tell there. Um, I think that that's it. So that I just wanted to share that that's a new option that I'm re uh, reintroducing to help us align with the goddess energy okay they also wanted me to show um this next card the overall message of we're going we're going through an incredible portal of a higher heart activation because of everything that's um activating or uh, what we're seeing happen on the planet and there might be more to come that we're going to be going through this um period of like uh, dropping our shields, raising them, dropping our shields and raising them. So this is like what our, our heart is healing. So for those of us who chose to come in as a feminine, we're healing such deep levels and layers of other lifetimes when we are, we're harmed. Okay. So that's happening as well. And the bottom of the deck is the violet flame and that came in and I'll talk more about that in the next um, energy update as well. Karmic release, radical transformation. So we're to continue to transmute and trans um, surrender what, what we can't. So we're going to be going through this balancing act of keeping our hearts open, but ensuring that our quantum field and our home space and everything is divinely protective. 
So we're under mm, a little bit of scrutiny right now, all of us that are conscious and awake, but it's just making us stronger. And we have, I want you to show that we do have the abilities to assist each other and to, um, to rise up. So I wouldn't have been able to, I was under, you know, really deep scrutiny after I did the live on Friday. And um, I reached out to two of my beautiful uh, star sisters that are family members and uh, right away the energy cleared. So that's the power that we have right now to set intentions for one another, to say prayers for one another and to release, you know, for lifetimes, um, they pitted us against each other. They pitted the divine goddesses against each other. This is a, our time to heal that, <clears throat> to clear any worry, envy, jealousy, stress, lies, um, contracts that we've had from these other lifetimes. And that's the, the work we're doing. We've done incredible work the last six to eight weeks, but we've also still got a six, seven other planets that are retrograde right now as well. So we're still going deep with them. Okay. So I just wanted to share that all with you. If you're interested in <clears throat> working with me and bringing in that beautiful divine feminine goddess healing and energy that offers up at the top of my website and um, it's available by Zoom and distance as well. So I just want to um, just close by asking divine feminine goddess Sophia, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Lakshmi, goddess Sekhmet, and the beautiful pink dragons to come in with the pink rose rays to just surround everybody and just allow yourself. I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's this high heart, not trusting that energy, but just get allowing yourself to receive that energy. Knowing that you still have the archangels and light shield protection and that this is, this energy is coming in, um, in the layers that are closest to your heart in your heart chakras. Okay. Beautiful. Mahalo Nui Loa. Much gratitude, love, and light. I'll be back with another update soon. And thank you all. And I look forward to um, working with you. And you can contact me. The information is in the description box below. Mahalo Nui Loa. Lots of love. Sending you all lots of aloha. Take care.